Hello, my name is Kirsten Blomquist. I am an author and hypnotherapist in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Let's talk about hypnosis. Is it being used on you every day without you being aware of it? Well, coming from me, a hypnotist, I want to tell you my stance on that. So when I studied hypnosis and the mind and I learned what hypnosis is, I began to see hypnosis everywhere. Everything is a suggestion. And that's basically what hypnosis is. Hypnosis is using suggestions to um, the mind in order to get the results that you want. So it can be any type of suggestions, really, depending on what the hypnotist or the, the client would like for themselves. Um, for myself, I use suggestions of healing and confidence and that type of thing with my clients. Other suggestions are not going to be as beneficial. So is hypnosis evil or bad? Are suggestions evil or good or bad? Well, let's talk about this. So imagine that you have a knife. Is that knife itself good or bad? No. The knife is just a knife. You can take that knife and you can slice fruit with it so that you can nourish your body and live and be healthy. Or you can take that knife and you can stab someone and cause harm. And when you do that, obviously it's not the knife that is bad, it's the person and their intentions, their actions that are bad. So the knife itself is not good or bad, it's just a knife. It's our intentions and our actions behind the tool that are themselves good or bad. Same thing with hypnosis and suggestions. So those can be used for, for good and helping people to heal and do well, or they can be used for bad. And so, like I said, hypnosis is everywhere. Suggestions are everywhere. If we look at the entire world, everything is suggesting something to us. You know, we've got a lot of magazines and the media suggesting what clothes we wear, what car we drive. We've got our friends suggesting what restaurant to go to, what movie to watch. And when we watch TV, there's the news suggesting all this danger in the world. Um, we watch the different TV programs that are happening. It's called TV programming for a reason because it's programming your mind, right? So all of this is suggestions and a suggestion implies that you have a choice to follow it. Um, some suggestions are more reinforced than others. Who are authority figures? Because authority figures are the people that have the most power with their suggestions. Now, there are different types of authority figures, such as teachers, because their students are definitely soaking up the suggestions of the teachers. There are police officers who have authority. There are all sorts of people. Anyone who has some sort of perceived power over you is an authority figure. Um, for instance, you know, politicians, the president, those people have authority because we listen up when they talk. However, do you want to know who has the number one authority? Western medical physicians. Because when we go to see them, we go to the doctor's office, we are in what's called a waking state of trance. So this means we're fully awake. However, we go to a doctor and they are an expert on everything. They've studied for so many years, they know exactly what's going on and how to fix us. So when they tell us, this is your diagnosis, this is what you need to take to get better, we just sit there and we're like, well, they went to school for a long time. They're an expert. They do this for a living. Okay, right? And we follow our doctor's orders without question. We follow their suggestions, right? And doctors mean well, of course. By all means, they mean well. They want to help people. Um, how much do we follow people without questioning the suggestions? Here is a really funny example. So, there was a book published called Medication Errors, Causes and Prevention. It was written by two professors by the name of Michael Cohen and Neil Davis. And they spoke about how people often follow the orders of doctors without question. And here is a very specific example that they stated in their book. So a patient came into the hospital with an earache in his right ear. 
and the doctor wrote down a prescription for the nurse to give him some eardrops. He wrote down to administer the eardrops in the right ear. But we all know every doctor has messy writing, right? They're notorious for that. And he also abbreviated right ear. So for short, he wrote capital R and then ear. So he said to administer the drops in the right ear. And so he left and the nurse came back and she picked it up and she said, oh, got to administer these drops. And she misread it and read rear. So she administered the ear drops for the patient's earache up his anus. He came in for an earache and got treated with ear drops up his butt. And neither the nurse nor the patient questioned this because the doctor had the ultimate authority and the ultimate knowledge. So I just thought that was a funny example of how often do we follow things just because an expert told us or, or something like that. That is a perfect example of being in a state of waking hypnosis and following those suggestions to perfection without even questioning it. We all do it, maybe not just to doctors, but it could be, you know, our spouses or, um, you know, different people in our lives. It happens for sure. Politicians, all of that stuff, TV shows. Um, just be aware that hypnosis is all around us. It's all suggestion. And a lot of people use suggestions they mean well, and some not so much. Just be aware and always trust your instinct. I hope you like this video and learn something from it. Please click subscribe, comment below, and also go to my website, feelingpowerful.com. I would love to connect with you and hear from you. I hope you have a great day. Bye guys, stay powerful.